Uh, we are back outside and we're about to uh, try and replace this power steering pump. Or not pump. I already did that. There's still a little tiny leak down there. So I think it is the uh, this return line right here. The one to the boost down to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, steering gear. So we're going to try and replace that. Hopefully that's the cause. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, it's in the description. So go do that right now. If you're not, I posted, um, I posted some stuff that we just got. We just got some half inch uh, transmission cooler lines because those are leaking. Common problem in Duramax is uh, those are leaking. And we're gonna have that done. And on top of that, we have a 2011 LML Hydro Boost coming so we can have stiffer brake pedals. So uh, we don't have that spongy ass brake that Silverado's have for these years. So that's awesome too. I mean, I think I need to add some uh, inch and a half spacers. I think, I think it's an inch. I don't wanna do two inch and make it look stupid, but I think it's an inch and a half spacer. But uh, I mean, look at these things. We're about to retort these things down. I mean, I've driven a couple miles on them, maybe like 60 miles or so. So hopefully they're ready. And then, golly, man, it just sucks not being able to wash this thing. I mean, it really does. I don't really have a proper way to wash it unless you pay $3 at the thing, fill your bucket up, wait, and then wash it by hand. And then pay another $3 to spray it off. It's $6 just a day and use the water. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna have to do though. So unfortunately, and then we get these wheels cleaned up on the inside again. I mean, still looking good though, still looking good. Nice. Man, who let me do this? Who let me do this? Don't. What's going on guys? So, uh, to change this hydro boost to steering gear power line, what I did, since the steering box is right there in your line that you're gonna take out is gonna be right here behind this frame rail. Uh, obviously your intercooler pipe, your hot side pipe, comes right here. So you're just gonna take these two clamps right here, loosen them, and take this pipe out right here. Obviously this thing has not been taken out ever probably. So anyways, there's two. So there's one right here on top of the turbo inlet right there and then you take that bottom one out right there it's easiest if you got an extension and a drill bit that's what i did it with and then i'm probably gonna clean this up real quick oh. <laughs> and uh yeah we're gonna install the line now it shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes hopefully if uh, everything cooperates uh yeah i'll get back with you as soon as we start selling the line one what's going on guys we're back at it there's oscar right there now check it out this line was the problems to all my leaking. Don't show that, don't show that, don't show that. <laughs> so, where's that? As you can tell, new line, good, bad line, bad, obviously. Stupid freaking idiots. So, we're gonna freaking come up there. We're gonna connect this one first, because this is the steering steering gear one, but it comes with two little O-rings. Make sure you put those bad boys on. We're gonna fish it through the top, and we're gonna, we had to disconnect the, uh, the other return line to the steering gear so that it could reach over, but it's making a mess, so we're trying to hurry up real quick. And uh, we'll, we'll shove it in there real quick. Fish it down. Who the heck? Who the frick? How you good? What is going on, Ham Fam? It is the next day. I think I say that a lot, but <laughs> it got kind of dark on us pretty soon, so. Anyways, what we did was we put that new power steering line in here and uh, all we did was reverse. Obviously what we did, uh, take the inner cooler pipe off, the hot side pipe, and then slap that puppy back on there. Um, just as I showed you taking it off. And lo and behold, no more leaks down here. Still have that one leak right here and that is only because of these uh, transmission lines, transmission cooler lines. So. We gotta fix those at some point. They just came in today, actually, the half inch ones. So, um, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna be, oh, wait, before I start working on this, let me show you how, let me show you how good she looks. Oh my God. Like, 
so nice so nice these wheels mm, literally made the truck i'm so happy but we're about to put this uh headliner in i think we got to take it out from this way i mean just look at this look at look at this that ain't cool bro like what the f staples and shit in here like i don't even i don't even know who the hell did all that i mean look at all that nastiness but i don't know if you can see that can y'all see that how nasty that is yeah not cool buddy not cool so we're gonna be putting some cow print headliner on here it's gonna be fluffy too so it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right all right we got three t15 bolts in here and there's gonna be one in there to take off this right here and same as the other side and then we're gonna be doing uh, one right here all right so that one's a screw not t15 bolt screw pop that down Out. Yeah, just keep popping it down and then unplug all these wires. All right, we got all that off. Uh, there's like a bracket that goes in between uh, for this little black piece right here in the middle. And then we'll just pop it off when we drop it. And we're gonna take this uh, tool right here, pop these off and let them rest on the dash. These right here are clips. There's no screws right here. So these clips go right here in this little bracket or mounting plate right here to the top of the roof and then that once you pop those out it'll come out there anyways and then you can slide these things right here and then pull the whole thing out once we can drop it a little bit now we're about to work on this light right here and basically all you do is get this right here pop it and pull it off to one side all right when you take this off like i said you're gonna pop this down and it's gonna pop off like that it's gonna slide left to right and there's the uh, little light you gotta unplug right here. All right, once you get all your stuff down, you can go ahead and start pulling it out. Uh, you just kind of have to pull it from the middle right here, and then it'll cave in a little bit, and then it'll go over these back pieces as well. And then, uh, yeah. Now that we got this out, we're about to take all these little things out and start shedding it. Boys, let me tell you, if you've ever done that with a welding brush, uh, it ain't fun. I did all that by hand with a welding brush. Uh, yeah, not fun. But we're about to get the uh, pattern laid out. I'm trying to find somewhere. I guess here ain't got no wind. I'm trying to find somewhere ain't got no wind. And uh, we're gonna start laying this stuff out. All right, we're gonna flip this back and then we're gonna spray this side. And then we're gonna come over here, do the opposite, spray that side. print that about does it boys i gotta cut that little piece off right there and fix that but other than that she is buttoned up and looking all nice don't too bad especially from outside look at that hey have fun have fun with what you do you know what i'm saying like, don't, don't let anybody throw you down unless you know stupid shit. I mean, this is a headliner, you know? Like, who cares, right? Just, just have fun with it, boys and girls. I mean, put freaking, put freaking weenies on the top for all I care. You know, as long as you got there and you're working on your stuff and you're actually passionate about it, go ahead and do it, bro. Like, yeah. So, I just got to figure out, fix that, that, and that little piece right there. It should be good. So, for... I think it was like thirteen dollars a yard at Hobby Lobby. I got this print, and then like twenty-two dollars for the headliner can, but for around fifty dollars for everything, and I got a headliner, got rid of the saggy headliner, and 
that, so not a bad deal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for more stuff. We're definitely going to be installing the half-inch transmission cooler lines next, and then we're going to be installing the uh, 2011 LML Hydro Boost. Possibly a two-for-one video. I'm waiting to actually pick up that stuff right now, but um, yeah.